Hey folks, how's it going today? Um, it's Regina Campbell again coming to you all with another video and I um just kind of chilling out in my room right now. What I really need to do is I need to kind of do some organizing and some cleaning um, because during my days when I'm at work, I <laughs> the most I probably do is kind of make my bed, but in the morning I'm usually my priority is usually on other things and I'm rushing about and on my days that I have to work I don't clean I don't clean so my days off I'm doing like a variety of different things that I don't get to do um, during the days that I work and I guess that's probably everyone but I was in my room and I was like you know what I want to do something fun today I've been wanting to do this for a while and it's pretty much a favorites video but it's not like new favorites, it's like new and old favorites of things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, um, every day. It's kind of like staple items that if I were to go on vacation or if kind of like beauty items that I could live without, but they are really important to me. So I guess if I had to get rid of everything else, those would be things that I would keep. So things that I really love that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, that if something were to happen to them or I would use it use it all or they would break or tear, I would be looking for another one or I would be repurchasing for sure. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to try to figure out, I guess I'll start with cleaning items. So um, starting out my day, no, I'm not going to start with cleaning items. Scratch that. No cleaning items. First item, and love this case. This is my phone. I have the um, Moto, um, I forget what you call it. Anyway, it's Motorola. I know you guys maybe heard the commercial long with they can put like the different attachments on it. I love this phone. You can put like speak the speaker on it. And I have, got this speaker and I have the um, projector. I have the projector, but I use the speaker a lot because I like listening to music, especially when, um, like, usually I use it when I'm doing my hair, actually. I use the speaker mostly when I'm up in my room because downstairs I have, like, another um, speaker I can use. But if I'm doing something I want to use, listen to music, I really do like this phone because it really delivers in that area. Um, and Motorola is just like a good, if you use Android, because I'm a rebel, I don't use iPhone. I have not crossed over. I've never used iPhone. I've stuck with Android. You want a good phone. Motorola is a good one. I don't know if they exactly have this one out anymore because they're constantly coming up with new stuff all the time. But anyway, um, it's not so much my phone. Phone is the first thing I grab in the morning because it is what I use to check and see what time it is. And I'm sure a lot of people do that. But what I want to draw you all attention to is the app that I use first off in the morning when I wake up because I believe that um, I have to start my day off right. And me starting my day off right is praying, giving thanks, and to read a devotional. So I have this little app that I've had on my phone for a couple of years now, and it's called um, iDisciple. And I really like it, and it has like a whole bunch of different like devotionals on it. It has um, music on it that you can listen to. Um, and, but like for like the past year, I have been looking at different devotionals, but the one that I have been going to the most and it has really been like touching my heart is um it's called First Fifteen. It's my favorite, favorite devotional. So that is my favorite thing on my phone first off in the morning every single day even if I'm on a trip no matter I go, no matter where I go that app is on my phone and I always use it every day so that is definitely a Regina item um the next thing that I love on my phone and this is is Pandora um I don't want it to it's gonna start playing I know it's gonna start playing and it's like whatever I'm gonna um it's called acapella radio and the reason why I like um, acapella radio is because 
The reason why I like acapella radio is because it has songs on there. I can hear people's voices. And when I'm going through like a neutral time in my life where I'm really not trying to listen to anything um, too lovey-dovey or if I am going through a stressful period or if I'm feeling down, it's like the perfect, perfect station. It's something about hearing people's voices with minimal um, instruments in the background and hearing people harmonize. It is super, super, super soothing to me. And the songs on there are usually really uplifting um, and very positive. And so I don't have to worry. And there's a lot of likes that I have on here, a lot of different groups. So I highly recommend um, Pandora's, um, the uh, acapella radio. Next thing, I'll go to cleaning items because once I wake up in the morning, um, I'll drink my water because I'm usually dehydrated during the night. You have to drink your I have to drink my water every morning, so that's a must for me. If I so happen to skip because I'm rushing, I feel the difference because um, I'm in a profession where I go to work, and if I don't think about it, I won't drink enough water, and it really, really affects me. Like my eyes and like my performance is horrible. So... Um, <clears throat> The cleaning item that I want to is, you guys, this. Now, I'm not going to sit up and say that I just use Sensitive Skin Dove, but it is like a must for me. So this means that no matter where I go, um, vacation, otherwise, uh, anywhere, day-to-day -day basis, I'm using Dove Sensitive. So if I have nothing else to use, Dove Sensitive. Because it cleans every part of your body, if you know what I mean, without you having to worry about anything. Um, nice, clean smell. Um, you don't have to worry about it being irritating. Yeah, I use different body washes. I go back and forth different body washes and soaps and whatever. But yeah, Dove. That's where it's at. Um, second thing for my face I've been using is the True Science skincare for my face. Um, it's a facial cleanser that uses um, NRF2 technology um, uh, on the outside of your skin, it's like science on your skin um, that keeps your skin, this keeps my skin um, balanced, keeps it from getting oily. It's a super, super gentle cleanser with a little bit of foam. It doesn't have all that um, uh, lather in it that like uh, hurts your skin or causes it to be able Feel extra dry so when I get through cleansing with this stuff like I feel like I've done something super to my skin and it makes it feel amazing after I done it after I cleaned it not too tight it feels clean but it feels super smooth so it's a really really good feeling um, with that and um, along with it are my other skincare items and I will go back and forth like this lotion right here um, from true science is like a serum perfecting lotion kind of like in the summertime um, I will go ahead and use this or during the daytime like if I'm just going to work or whatever use this and I won't have to use a moisturizer because the skincare or the cleanser isn't a drying anyway and it gives me a nice like tone like um filling that's gonna like control my oils during the day so my skin really likes this and these right here, I go back and forth. These are like the, the eye serum and the anti-aging cream. I usually use the anti-aging cream um, like I used it today because I was going to wear makeup because it's protecting. And also, I use it um, at night along with the eye serum. Usually, eye serum I always use at night. Um, and both of these do an excellent job. This makes your skin feel super, super moisturized and leaves it so smooth and non-greasy, sticky feeling. Your skin feels like it feels together when you've done um, putting this on. So I really, really like those. And they're just super gentle on my skin. My skin isn't like irritated or inflamed because I have sensitive skin. It will let me know if it's not liking something real quick. So <clears throat> those are the things I'm liking in skincare. Another skincare item, as of yet, I still would like to find something without aluminum in it. Um, and I, there's something that I'm going to try. But as of right now, what has been tried and true with me, just like some of the other um, Dove products, is the Dove um, 
the uh, Dove deodorant and I mean it works for me. I like the soothing. I'm using the soothing chamomile for right now. Love the way it smells. Love it the way it makes my underarms feel. They don't feel irritated. The, they feel taken care of and it's gentle for me. And yeah, I don't know if it would really work if I'm like doing like a hardcore workout or anything like that, but it, it helps me on a day-to-day -day basis. Like when I'm at work, cause I'm constantly moving at work, it, it holds me. So I like that. And the last um, skincare item as far as cleanliness or whatnot would be, um, this is what I got recently. And yes, it's another Dove item. You see, I'm like a huge Dove fan, but um yeah, I like this moisturizing body cream. Um, it's nice. I like it because surprisingly, even though it's a cream, when you put it on my when I put it on my body, it is super absorbent, and it doesn't leave my skin feeling like doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy. It just you know gives it nice moisture, but then leaves it feeling like it can breathe because. Other little item that I can't live without, and it's not exactly this flavor. This is a nice flavor. It's oatmeal cookie, which I do like oatmeal cookies, but Lip Smacker. This right here. I need this in my life. And I have not found anything over my 35 years of life or whenever I started using that has worked as effectively as this right here, Lip Smacker, for my lips. I have big lips, got them from my mama. Um, they get chapped really easily, especially if I'm not drinking my water. And if I need to exfoliate and get rid of that skin, keep moisturized or whatnot, right here. Nothing else, nothing else works as effectively as good old Lip Smacker. How some, I have gotten other things to work, but not like that so anyway moving on to other skincare items i'll go ahead and do makeup um when it comes to makeup um because my skin is sensitive and because um i just like quality um things on my skin because my skin will let me know um i don't wear makeup on Okay, let me rephrase it. I don't wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis because I know that my skin likes to breathe and it probably wouldn't do very well. But if I am wearing it often, like for a video like this, or if I find myself going somewhere, going on vacation, or going somewhere special, either way, um, I there are two, two um, foundations that I wear and I encourage people to go ahead, spend the money, buy yourself a good foundation because it's worth it and you're not going to use it up real fast be worth the money you forgot you even spent that much money on it so this right here bobby brown bobby brown what is this skin long wearing weightless foundation with S spf 15 and yes black girls need um spf as well for our skin yes we do get sunburn that is a fact so um the next one right here is the Lancome, um, I can't even say this right, 10th Adol Ultra is 24 hour makeup and also the sunscreen SPF 15 as well. This right here. So these two tried and true. This one is a little darker right here. I've been wearing it um, in summertime. It gives me a very natural look. I don't use a whole lot of it though. I have it on right now, this one. Um, and it allows for me to like see my skin underneath um, without just giving me so, that cakey look. Um, it has really good ingredients in it and it allows my skin to breathe and I don't feel like itchy by the end of the day or feel like scratching my skin because my skin is telling me that I need to get something off of it. Really good stuff. And this right here is also really good as well. They did excellent, excellent job when it came to um, engineering these right here. So they're on the pricier side, but it is it is worth it. And a little bit goes a long way so you don't have to worry about using it up really fast. When it comes to eyeshadows, um, different things, when I get ready for work in a day, um, the bare, the, the least that I will wear um, as far as makeup in a day will probably be nothing, but most of the time I try to do something. 
So what it will end up be the the least I wear for makeup would be my um concealer for my under eyes or whatnot because over the years I've just gotten a little darkness and um genetics have it where um just me and my sub my siblings we're just automatically getting like little bags underneath our eyes right there. So I'll put a little concealer on so I won't look so tired and um I'll put mascara on and I'll do something for my lips, where, whether it's a lip gloss or just maybe a little bit of color of some sort. I don't like to wear um, really bold colors unless I'm going out or maybe it's my day off or maybe I'm going out um, and having fun, you know, at night towards nighttime or something like that. Um, but yeah, during the day I wear like going to work, I wear minimum. The most I will do going to work would be a full face, but it's probably because I've been doing something earlier. The reason I'm coming in for a full face because when I'm at work, it's just like, you know, I want to look decent, but I'm working, like I'm. my mind is on work. It's on like taking care of people, doing stuff that people on a day-to-day -day basis probably wouldn't do, if you know what I mean. But when I do go into work and I want to put like eyeshadow and stuff on because that would be like the most I would do on a day-to-day -day basis, this right here is awesome. Like I have the other palette, Too Faced palette, but this peach one is really nice. And this is what I've been wearing for um, summertime. And it has the colors I like in it. I even like the green in it. Um, got this transitional color right here. I guess you guys can see I like this color and that color a lot. Um, I'll wear. And it just kind of gives you a little pop without doing too much. If you want, if you took it on vacation, you wanted to do something darker with it, you have like these colors on the side to give you a more dramatic look. Dramatic look. You have highlighters up here for your brow bone. So you can do a lot of different things with one palette. So it's worth the purchase um, uh, if you just use it correctly or whatnot. So that's one. Now on the lower end of things, what I've been um, going back and forth with has been my Morphe palettes. And these have been around for a while, the brand Morphe. But um, recently they've actually come out and to Ulta so because they were in Ulta I went ahead and I I picked it up and let's see this one right here it was the one that I've been wearing as far as summer and these colors look good on me I think especially those like bright colors up here at the top you can do a whole you can do so much with just this one but as you can see I've been using that one and this is just on a day-to-day -day basis like if I'm getting ready for work, I will put one of these on and this one right here probably be more so what I'll be wearing um, in the winter time because of the colors in there. And I like you see where I've used um, a lot of like the purples and pinks and stuff in that one. So that's if you guys want something that's affordable, Morphe is a, a nice little brand. Once you know how to use it, um, some makeup doesn't work with some makeup primers. You you know, you have to just kind of work with stuff and, and use it. This right here is by Makeup Revolution. I like this as well. And this will be a palette too I would take. If I weren't taking the peach palette, take this. So I use this on a day-to-day -day basis too. I switched those four palettes up. But this peach palette right here is a go-to if I'm not trying to pack a whole lot of makeup. Right there. Um, as far as blush, for a long time I was wearing a Bare Minerals brush, but I wore it for so long and finally I think it was being like not effective and it wasn't even showing up on my cheeks. Um, but I, what I've been liking that is this Morphe um, blush. It's like a trio. Oh, let's have the plastic in there. But these right here, these are really nice. If you guys know like the NARS blush right here, this kind of reminds me of it. Really popular one, uh, the name, which I am not going to say, but this one is actually called Driven. So if you want like a nice highlighted look, go ahead and do that. Um, I usually wear this one is what I usually stick to the most. Um, if I'm wearing a blush for a full face and this right here with the least of what I would wear. This is more dramatic, um, bold look. I have worn all three of them, but I'm really happy with this purchase right here. Definitely a go-to all the time. Um, now, as far as like tools for 
um, well, I'll go ahead and show you guys this. For the longest time, um, is the finishing powder by Laurier, Lori Mercier. And even though I don't wear full face every day, when I am putting on my concealer um, and just going and not putting on makeup, I still set it with this. And this stuff right here is amazing. So super, super, super fine. And it sets makeup very, very nicely. And it is worth the price. And you get a whole lot of it. This is going to last me forever, y'all. Literally. Until it comes to a point where I'm like, you know, maybe this isn't um, so great to have. And anyway, this is going to last me for a long time. So that's the thing about when you invest in good stuff, makeup, look to see how much is there and how much things are going to last you. Like my True Science skincare, a little bit goes a long way. Um, and so I'll have it for a while. So all this stuff, it's quality, it's worth the money, it's good for your skin. And so in the end, you're not buying a whole bunch of cheap stuff you're throwing away and going to end up spending just as much anyway when you're going to have something that's efficient and effective and quality. So that's that um and to top it off this is what i have been using the commercial got me on i know y'all didn't see this commercial <laughs> so but listen though don't sleep on this do not sleep. this mascara the only thing i say with this mascara is when you first get it um it's wet like the formula is really is really juicy but the good thing about that is it lasts a long time. I, I'm i not going to sit up and lie to you guys. This is the complete truth. I have been using this mascara every day. Every single day. Because this, along with the under eye concealer and some uh, chapstick mascara to help, you know, make me not look like I'm just lost. <laughs> this right here. I'm telling you guys, like, I don't even know what to say, but this is some good mascara. So when I feel like it's useless anymore, I can't get in that, I will be repurchasing this for sure. For sure. Um, there are a couple of runner, runner up though. Um, this right here, I've been holding on to forever. This is the old bottle, y'all. I still have, I don't even know if they make this anymore. And this is the Enchanted Orchard, Orchid. This smells good and it smells good. You want to get stuff that smells. I, I like floral scents, as I guess you can already tell. I'm a floral person. Um, I like a little bit of vanilla. It, it just depends on who made who makes it. I, I, I don't mind. But Enchanted Orchid by Bath and um, Body Works. They did an excellent job on this as well. And the newest, the newest that they've done a good job on is Rose. Rose mist. Very nice. Um, not overdone. Don't smell like <sighs> I don't want to say like sometimes you know a lavender and rose be kind of smelling. I don't want to say it, just be kind of if you don't want to smell too mature, that's the word for it. It's a nice, it's a nice, very nice, very nice. And so um, yeah, body, body mist is what I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis every day. I'm a scent person, so I'm going to be wearing some type of scent. Whether I'm going out to the grocery store, whether I'm going to work, um, if I'm going somewhere special, like going out with some friends or going, you know, to a special event, I will put on my perfume. But on a day-to-day -day basis... That's what I'm going to be wearing. It's going to either be Sweet Pea, it's either going to be Rose, or it's either going to be the Enchanted Orchid. So it's going to be one or the other. And I don't spray on a lot. I don't douse myself all over. I just hit it where it, hit it, where, um, it means the most. I um, fragrance lift my room because I really like oils and stuff like that too. I put that in my car. But if I'm walking around and I just get like a, a slight sniff like you know from myself and I smell it when I'm working it like decreases my stress and everything so those are the other reasons why I like those smells um another favorite of mine that you will see me using on a day-to-day -day basis that I carry with me it's just easy for me to throw into each one of my purses um 
or this is my nursing bag or like a purse that I'm carrying with me um, on my days off or things like that. This carries all my stuff right here. I love this. This right here even carries my cell phone inside. I love, I just, I don't know, certain things you're just drawn to. I just like the color of it along with like the gold and like the black boldness. So I don't know, it just has a lot of character to it and I really like it. I'm not going to show you all what's inside. This is going to have to be rectified. I'm going to do something about it. I still haven't done something about it, but I really like this. Because my phone fits in there and everything inside of it. So if I want to be just minimal, that's what I'll use. Um, I'm going to show you all. This is what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Every day. Five days a week. This is my nursing bag. I really like it. Um, maybe one day I'll have what's in my nursing bag video, but yeah, got little pockets on the side so I could put like a small water bottle here or like a pen like I have right there. I have my little like energy drink packet right here for when I need energy. Um, I have some lollipops here. They forever giving candy out or something like that. I'm finding candy so just in case if like I eat my lunch and I don't have anything sweet and I'm just like oh my goodness like I need something sweet I might use that so yeah I put like a purse a organizer inside of it and it works really well um, I like this little tassel on the side this this bag I was looking for for the longest time because it was something specific that I needed I like the fact that it is a durable nice durable material um, it's very colorful, has my favorite colors in it, like the fuchsia pinks and the purples. Um, it just fits my vibe so well of who, who I am as a person. I really um, love cats and it just works. It's, I can, if it gets dirty, like inside it has like a plastic kind of, it's not plastic, but kind of like material. So like if it gets dirty, all I have to do is like throw it in the wash. And so when I saw it, it was the perfect height. I don't have to be digging down in it for days to try to find what I need in it. It was perfect. Also, um, so this right here, I like wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. Really easy to put on when you want to put something on, um, but you're flying out the door real quick. And this is why I say it's, just, it's stainless steel. I love stainless steel. Very durable. Oh, showed you guys before, but anyway, see that magnet? It's a strong magnet. And if you just want something simple, not trying to do a whole lot, um, to boost up something casual, very cute. I won't really wear these to work because of the work that I do. I don't want them to get dirty. But this right here, if I'm going on vacation or maybe on a day to day, this is definitely like. A Regina item to wear these these are stainless steel as well but just kind of it's just who I who I am this is like me this one right here as well it's an item I love very simple is the simplest things made out of glass is not didn't pay a whole lot of money for these things at all um, but this right here super nice this color, lavender, like glass color, goes with pretty much anything I wear. So if I'm going on vacation, places like that, this is definitely something to grab if I don't know what to wear. Um, and the earrings as well. They dangle, but they're not like anything that's going to be too bold and like loud right here. So really like these. And the thing is, like depending on my body temperature or the temperature around me, they may change color. They may get a little lighter and then they may get a little um, more dark purple. So it's really, really unique. Um, I love those colors. Very calming like colors. Um, I like lavenders and purples. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'll wear these as well, like to work. I'm not trying to do a whole lot, but I just want just a little, little bit of something just to feel like I'm like together. Um, and if I'm trying to feel like if I have like little to no makeup on or maybe I'm wearing my hair in like a bun, like up, I wear these. 
And like I said, no, these aren't real, nothing expensive, you know. These are sterling silver, I believe. But things like this, just like staple everyday pieces that you'll see me wearing. These right here that I'm wearing in my ears, um, just like the necklace I was showing you. If I'm running out the door and I'm going to be late, um, I've had these literally for like probably over a decade. Seriously. Super easy to wear. Um, I've cleaned these a couple of times. You know, a, I found a good stainless steel. These are uh, not stainless steel, but sterling silver. Very easy to just slide in real quick slide out at night um no hassle no fuss just go and they stay in don't have to worry about them falling out and you're done it's not anything too big and gaudy something simple it goes with everything um and those are the types of things that i look for types of things i like to spend my money on for the most part is things that i know that i'm going to wear on a day-to-day -day basis i'm going to get my money's worth out of them and go from there now at yeah those are the things that i